Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, as you could see by the title, today I will be making jacket. This jacket is cut out since last year, it was waiting for me in a box. The weather was already warming up and I just knew that I will not have a chance to, to wear this jacket enough, so I just let it be. This is the year when I will finally sew this jacket. Uh, the pattern is from Vicky Sews, this is exact uh, one that I'm using. I don't know if it's still available on the website, um, if it is I will put the link in the description box. Uh, the thing that I had to change in this pattern was that uh, the original pattern doesn't have a lining because they worked uh, with specific type of fabric which is uh, it was wool but it was double sided and then the finishing of the seams was kind of unique I have never seen it before so I don't have this type of fabric so I had to make my own lining and um, yeah so I don't know if it will work out because I have done it last year and I was not so experienced with it maybe I will run into some troubles while making this jacket anyway I guess we will see so everything is cut out in front of me and as usually what I like to start uh, doing is all the details, all the things like that. I always start as a first, so this is what I'm going to do now. So casually keep diving into concrete, so bittersweet. So now that I have sewn all these flaps and the pockets, I just need to do the top stitch everywhere except uh, the pocket because these I'm going to sew on jacket directly. I remember what you were saying. Sometimes all you need is a spark. Maybe just a better kind of better. So now all the details are done, everything is ready for me, except uh, I still didn't do the buttonholes, but I think on flaps like this, like this one for example is going around the sleeve, I think it's not really necessary for me to do a buttonhole, just because I will basically never be opening and closing, you know, it's just a decorative detail, so... You know the story about the buttonholes and my sewing machine, especially when it comes to jacket and coats like this with the thick layers. That just, it just doesn't work, okay? So I think I'm going to skip this and everywhere else where it's literally necessary, I think I'm just going to do it by hand as usually. And so the last thing is to finish uh, the belt, which uh, I just need to do some top stitching and then I can continue and move on to the uh, outer part of the jacket and uh, I think I'm ju just going to attach uh, pockets on it first. So I have two front pieces here. There is a little dart uh, at the shoulder and also so in this pocket. So the dart is sewn, the pocket is sewn as well. So now I have to sew the flap. So first I will do the stitch over here, maybe like half a centimeter from the edge. And then I will turn it and top stitch it again from here. So now I have here the back piece. Uh, first of all, I will sew this belt loop and then I will connect these two pieces together. So now 
I will join these two back pieces together, right sides facing, like so. I will sew it from the top until this point over here. Okay, so now I have the back piece, I iron the seam at the back and I will place this flap in the center seam over here. I will pin it in place, give it a basting stitch and then I will take this yoke, put it right sides facing on this piece, pin it in place and sew it here. You are my world in every place It's the things I do do so now I need to just iron it nice and flat and then I think I will go ahead and sew button. So far everything is going well. Now I will just sew the front piece to the back pieces like that. So the side seam and here on the shoulder and of course the other side after. And without you I am just a trace. I love you. Hi guys, so actually it's another day and uh, yesterday I finished because I think it was a good moment to stop so I just want to show you how it looks like at this moment so I have the main body finished with a pocket this is the back, let me show you so this is how it looks like so far I just quickly pin uh, this fabric here so you have better idea how it's going to look like when it's all done so you can see everything will be this brown color except the details on the pocket here and also on the shoulders and on the sleeves so today I will start I think easy by sewing the sleeves and uh, then I think I will continue by assembling the lining I have to say I'm a little bit afraid of this, uh, the bag, because there is like, um, I don't know what the proper name for it, I will put it on the screen if I figure it out. So I'm a little bit afraid of this construction, uh, because I made the lining by myself, so I'm not quite sure if it's going to work or not. But uh, yeah, anyway, I will deal with it when the time comes. So far I'm satisfied with it. So. As I said, let's continue by sewing the sleeves. So the most important is to know where is the back and where is the front of the sleeve. And I have these two notches over here and one notch here. I want this flap uh, to be turned on this side, not the brown, but uh, the checkered one. And I want the point to be going to the back. I have two notches here, so I just have to place it like so. Now I will close it and then basically sew a straight stitch. You had to go. I will save you a space for a dance in the meadow. I guess let's do the color. Uh, as you can see, I have two pieces here, so I will just join them together and now sew it here with a straight stitch. Okay, so now that this is done, I will just simply put them on the top of each other, like so. Carefully pin it all around and then sew from here all the way until the other end. One important thing that I have to do before I will go and attach the collar to the main bodice is that I have to base stitch these two flaps on the shoulder and on the other side so then I can go and sandwich them in between the jacket and collar. Now the color is pinned. I struggled just a little bit but I forgot that actually uh, there is one notch where I have to make a little cut in the jacket, not the color, so that I can turn it more easily. And now I will just go ahead and sew this all around.
So it's been a few days since last time uh, that I filmed. I just need a little bit of a break, but uh, I saw the lining, but I didn't show you because it's exactly the same like uh, the shell of the jacket. But I have few updates that I want to tell you. First of all, I had to make the sleeves shorter, approximately 4, 4.5 uh, centimeters shorter because they were so long. So I went ahead and I made it shorter here, but uh, lining still needs to be cut. Uh, for the button, I made the decision that everywhere where it's not necessary I'm not going to do a buttonhole like for example here on the cuffs of the sleeve or on the top of the shoulders there is no need because actually I will be never opening it it's just a design detail but let's make it easier for myself and I'm not going to be struggling making buttonholes that I'm never going to use uh, for the lining uh, I did mistake I forgot to draw seam allowance on my pattern piece that I made and because I made it one year ago I didn't remember so what I actually did was uh, that I just sewed the panel of the fabric and then I just redraw this side of the panel and I cut it uh, again with a seam allowance actually nobody is going to see it from inside so the sweetest red sheet I'd ever seen you stand beside me in every dream Angel goddess, you cover them all Say, what can I do to get you to fall For someone like me Okay, so let's do the lining. I think the first thing that I have to do is to sew it all around with the collar. Then I will attach the sleeves and then I will deal with this situation over here. I still don't know how I will do it and usually I go to YouTube to watch some tutorials. I will link some of them down below because they are really great. But if you ever want to make a lining for a jacket that originally doesn't have any, then uh, just look in the description box because there will be some great videos about that. That he deserves you. Now I will continue from here all the way until down on each side. Go with someone like me. So now for the sleeve, uh, I turn it right side out, I place the sleeve inside and what I have to do now is to go at the end here. The seam allowance here is only one centimeter. I will just match these two as if it's in a way like it's already sewn. I will just pin it together, then go inside the jacket in between two layers until I will come here. Then I will grab these two that I pin with my two fingers. I will pull them out. I need to do this slowly and I will again make sure that this is matching and I will pin it all around. So the fabrics are right sides facing. It looks really weird now but uh, don't think about it too much. Slowly turn it, turn it until I sew it all around with the again seam allowance of one centimeter. So I'm trying to figure it out this lining. Uh, I think I did this side right, but here I think there is a problem with the lining. I think I will have to cut like one centimeter so that once I sew it, it lays nice and flat like that. So I will go ahead, then close this first and then down. But I have to leave uh, some gap so that I can turn it right side out. So first of all, cut one centimeter, then sew this side, sew this part and then close the button. And I will be done. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile upon your face And I see something shimmering in your eyes And they say if you want to glimpse the future, you need space And you said you'll put down your morning guns Would you follow? Wonders. Take 
take my hand and walk beside me in a world of thunder. Fear is an imposter. When you look at me this way, I find it hard to not.